guys, I'm Roxy Shahidi. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to do a floor based practice. Open the hips, hamstrings, shoulders, back, chest. Just a really nice, relaxing, opening practice. So let's begin by bringing our focus, our attention into the here and now. And we're going to do that by taking a few breaths together. Feeling that breath from the inside out. And then we'll chant on together three times. Spine long, comfortable seat. Before I forget, you might need a belt for this practice. So grab a scarf or a belt or a tie or anything that works for you. If you want to sit on a cushion to elevate the hips, do so. First finger and thumb to touch. Inhale, spine long, core engaged. Exhale, relax the shoulders down and back. Inhale, breathe into the space in between the eyebrows. Exhale, relax the face. Inhale, fill the chest and upper back. Exhale, let go of any worries. Feel a few breaths. Allow yourself to become present. Feel the body grounded here on the mat. Let's chant on together three times. Inhale. Oh. Ziggy the cat has come to join us. Ziggy we found on the street when he was a teeny tiny kitten. Anyway, I hope you don't mind. So, let's begin lying on our backs. Feel the body grounding down. Inhale deeply, <sighs> exhale through the mouth, let go, relax. Inhale, breathe deeply. Exhale. <sighs> Let's begin by opening the right hip. Place the left foot flat, take the right foot just below the left knee. Inhale, then exhale, open that right hip out. Staying here. Tuning into any sensations. Option to inhale and lift that left foot from the floor. And if you want to go deeper, you can clasp underneath the left knee, holding onto the thigh. Straighten that left leg. Exhale, bend it back down. Wherever you are, breathing deeply. Observe any sensations in the hip. As you inhale, Feel as though you're creating space. And as you exhale, let go of any tension. Inhale. Exhale. Last breath. Inhale. And exhale. Gently release. Let's do the same thing on the opposite side. Left ankle just below the right knee. Inhale. And then exhale. Actively take that left knee away from you. Deepening the stretch in the left hip. Option to lift the right foot. Staying here. Or clasp the right thigh. Option to straighten that right foot. 
and exhale, bend it down. Taking a few breaths here. Feel the deep inhale. Exhale, let the face relax. Finding peace as you work into these stretches. Inhale, create space. Exhale. Last breath, inhale. Exhale. Lovely release. Grab your belt, your scarf, your tie, whatever it is you've got. And place the belt just below the ball of the right foot. And you can have the leg bent here, that's okay. You don't have to have that leg straight. Just feel what works for you and work with ahimsa, work with kindness. Don't push yourself beyond what is comfortable because we're gonna open up with practice, with patience, with persistence. We're not gonna force anything. So come to where feels good for you, being kind to yourself. Relax the face and let's breathe here. Again, as you inhale, feel as though that breath is creating space in the hamstrings. And as you exhale, maybe allow the foot to move forward just half an inch. And let this stretch feel good. Finding your edge, breathing into it. And then on the next exhale, clasp the belt a little bit higher up, release the right hand, and just let that right foot fall a few inches over to the left. So you feel a nice stretch on the outside of that right hip. Staying with the breath. Making the breath deep and relaxing. Last one. Inhale, allow that foot to come all the way back up. Exhale, release the belt and take that leg all the way down. Left side now. Placing the belt wherever feels good for you on the foot and straightening to where feels comfortable. Breathe. I think when we open up and we stretch and we're nice and relaxed and we can really breathe into it. I think we create a lot more flexibility in a shorter space of time than we do if we try and force ourselves into stretches that our body isn't ready for. So again, just be kind, find your edge, breathe into it. the right hand a little bit further up the belt, release the left hand and take that leg over to the right. Find your first point of resistance and breathe into it. Lovely, inhale, 
return to centre, exhale, release. Let's take a little twist. Bring the feet mat distance apart. Allow both the knees to fall to the left. If you want to work a little bit deeper, you can place that left foot on the right thigh. Staying here and breathing deeply. Relax the face. Let any thoughts go. Just be present here on the mat. Feel the body. Inhaling center, exhale opposite side. Observe any sensations. Roll over onto your side and come up to sitting. We're just going to do a few chest openers. I'm going to come onto the knees to begin with. Take a moment, reconnect. And inhale, lift the fingertips of the shoulders. Elbows are at shoulder height. And we're going to inhale, reach the heart forward, squeeze the shoulder blades together. And exhale, take the heart to the back wall as you draw the elbows towards each other. It doesn't matter how far you go. Inhaling, opening. Exhale. Remember, we're practicing with kindness. So we're not forcing anything, we're just tuning in, observing, moving with awareness. Just flow to the rhythm of your breath. Opening and expanding on the inhale, letting go, releasing on the exhale. If the mind becomes distracted, just bring your focus back to the breath, back to the sensations in the body, the feeling of that inhale and the exhale. Last two. And one. Exhale. Release the hands. Take a breath. Connect with the shoulders. Come back to your comfortable, easy seat that you took at the beginning of class, whatever feels good for you. You can come into half lotus, you can come into full lotus. Um, you can have one foot in front of the other, whatever feels good. We're going to do a little bit of twisting now to open up, loosen the entire spine. Fingertips to the shoulders. We're going to inhale left, exhale right. Go to your rhythm. Breath can be a little bit more rapid here. You might hear a few little clicks, a few little crunches, that's okay. As long as it's not painful. And try not to jerk the neck around too much. We're creating flexibility more in the thoracic spine, in between the shoulder blades.
core slightly engaged, lifting up on the bandage, lifting up on that pelvic floor. Last few. And then just start to slow it down. And release to the palms up, close the eyes, feel the body. See if you can feel the energy in the palms of the hands. Relax the shoulders. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, soften the face. Lovely. Let's grab our belt. We're going to come onto our knees. We're going to continue opening the chest and the shoulders here. So let's take the belt. You can take it however wide you need. Um, it's absolutely fine. I, I like to take mine just a little bit wider than shoulder distance apart. Make the belt nice and tall so there's a little bit of pulling, but not too hard. Arms are nice and straight. We're inhaling, reaching the arms all the way up. Then exhale, just take them back a few inches. You don't need to bring the hands all the way down. We just want to find that first point of resistance and pause there, breathe into it. Maybe squeeze the shoulder blades down the back. Inhaling, opening the chest. Last breath. And then exhale, release, take it all the way down. We're going to repeat that, but we're going to take a flow this time. So we're going to inhale, take it all the way up. Pause. Exhale with the arms straight and the belt taut, bring it down. Inhaling up, take it back. Pause. Exhale, bring it down. Flow into the rhythm of your breath. So if you do a lot of dynamic yoga, if you do a lot of sports, it's so important to release, to stretch. Otherwise, we just end up really stiff. You might be strong, but you're going to be stiff. So it's important to keep the joints nice and oiled release tension from the muscles so there's some fluidity in the body and you're not too rigid last two last one and release Lovely. Let's take our attention to the hip flexors now. So we're going to, hello Mr. Lucci, this is Mr. Lucci. Um, so we're going to take the left foot forward, so we're in our low lunge. And just expect, expect, explore where feels good for you. You can walk that right foot back a little bit more if you want a deeper stretch. But wherever you are, before we go into the pose, let's lift up on the pelvic floor so there's an engagement of the core here. And then if you want to, drop the hips down an inch or two. Toes can be flat or tucked, it's up to you. You can place the hands on the upper thigh, or if the balance is there, you can interlace the fingers so you've got a nice opening in the chest and the shoulders as well. Breathing here. See if you can keep that upward lift movement lifting through the core 
as well as that grounding down through the hips. We've got that dual action. Exhale. Take the, part, the hands down on either side of the foot and then extend that left leg. Reach the torso forward. If this is too much for you, you can have two blocks by either side or you can come up if the balance is there, but it's up to you. Wherever you are is absolutely fine. Practicing with ahimsa, with kindness towards ourselves. Let's keep that internal dialogue positive. Exhale, the left foot's flat. Bring the left hand to the inside of the left foot. Roll out onto the outside edge of that left foot and you can stay here. Opening up that left hip and the right hip flexor or tuck the toes and pop that right knee up. Just to intensify it a little bit, breathe. Exhale, release the right knee back down. And then inhale, circle that left hand around, reaching back option to lift the right foot. If the hand can clasp the foot, lovely. If not, that's fine. If you have the foot, draw the foot in towards the body. Breathe. Keep opening up. Drawing that left shoulder down and back. Gently release. Bring the left knee to meet the right and we'll just do a few rounds of cat cow. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze the forehead and the sacrum towards each other. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhaling. Exhale. Last one, squeeze the forehead and the sacrum together, lift up on that core, then inhale, step the right foot forward, same procedure, second side, step the left knee back to wherever feels good for you, before we drop the hips, let's lift up on the pelvic floor, engage the core, so we've got that upward movement of energy, and then drop the hips down a little bit, hands to the thigh, or interlace the fingers, open the chest, breathe. Exhale, release. Hands to either side of the foot or to your blocks. Extend the right leg, breathing deeply. As you inhale, feel as though you're lengthening the torso and as you exhale, maybe allow yourself to melt down half an inch. Inhale, reaching forward, exhaling, melting down. Two more deep breaths here. Right foot flat, come to the outside edge of the right foot, hands on the inside, staying here, opening up, or pop that left knee up, breathe, inhaling deeply, exhale. So this is quite an energising stretch, especially if you've got the knee up, we're nice and engaged here, there's some heat in the body, but we're keeping that right hip nice and relaxed, last breath. Exhale, drop the left knee, reaching up and round with that right hand. 
If it's there, clasp the left foot. Breathe. Keep drawing that right shoulder down and back to open the chest, creating a nice twist here. Gently release. Come back onto the knees. Just do three cat cows, inhaling, exhale. Really push the floor away with the hands, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Sit on the heels, take a minute, feel the body. Take a nice big deep inhale, breathe into the space in between the eyebrows. Exhale, release any tension from the shoulders, the face. Inhale. And exhale. Come up onto the knees. We're going to do our half camel. It's a great way to prepare for camel. What we tend to do when we bend back is tuck to pop the butt out and create compression in the lower back. What we want to do is tuck the tailbone forward to open up the lower back, push the hips forward. And we're going to bring our hands to our jeans pockets and then we're going to feel like there's a rope lifting our chest, our heart to the sky. Tuck the chin slightly to protect the neck. Squeeze the elbows together and let's just breathe here. Exhale, release. So that's great. You can stay there today if you want. Roaming the hip flexors, creating a nice little bit of stretch through the abdominals, roaming the chest. It's great. Do that again if you like. Or if you want to work a little bit deeper, let's come into full camel. Inhale. Exhale. Clasping for the heels. You can keep that chin tucked or you can relax the head all the way back. It's up to you. Keep pushing those hips forward. Keep lifting the heart to the sky. Coming all the way up. Ah, exhale. Spread the knees mat distance apart. Walk the hands forward. Wide leg. Blasting a child's pose. Breathe. Let it go. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now it's entirely up to you. You can come back into our half camel, into our full camel, or you can come into your Urdhvad and your Asana wheel pose. It's up to you. Just do whatever feels good for you today. And if you're feeling that like you've got that energy and you want to connect with your core strength and open up, that's great. But if you're not feeling like that today, that's fine. Take a camel or stay in child's pose. Remember, we're practicing with kindness, so just do what feels right. If you're coming into your wheel, place the fingertips underneath the shoulders. Squeeze the elbows together. Inhale, lift the hips and pop up. Breathe. Coming all the way down. Nice big deep inhale. Everyone, wherever you are, come onto your back. Inhale, breathe deeply. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale, breathe deeply. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Lovely. Well done. So, let's come up any way you like. And we're going to take Pashimotanasana. 
It's like a little cat jungle in here today, isn't it? So, first of all, Dandasana, stick pose, legs are extended, core's engaged, we're lengthening through the spine. And then we're going to exhale and just walk the hands forward. Now, if you find your lower back is very stiff, you might want to sit on a cushion just to help that pelvic tilt. Wherever you are today, don't push it too hard. Just find that point of resistance and breathe. You can clasp the toes. You can clasp around the feet. It's up to you. You can relax the hands, palms up for a more passive pose. I'm going to take 10 breaths here. Be kind to yourself, find your edge, breathe into it. As you inhale, wherever you are, feel that length in the torso. So we're lengthening the spine, we're not rounding the spine. We're keeping it nice and long. Creating space. And if you can, gently connect with the banders here. So there's a slight lifting up on the pelvic floor and as you inhale, breathe into and expand that lower back. Breathe into and expand the middle back. As you exhale, melt down a tiny bit. Inhale, breathe into the upper back. Exhale. Five more breaths here. Soften the gaze. Take the attention inward. Inhale, very slowly walking the hands back up. Well done. I'm going to open the hips again here, file of pose. So I'm going to take the left leg, in fact I'll face you this way. I'm going to take the left leg so it's in a straight line and then place the right leg on top. Now you might be all the way up here. You might want to place a couple of cushions over the, um, under the knee for support. Or you might find that you're quite comfortable and you want to create a bit of pressure on that right thigh, it's up to you. Staying here, nice and upright, or exhaling and walking the hands forward a tiny bit, just to deepen that stretch. Soften the eyes, tune inward. Breathe into any tension. And as you exhale, relax and let go. Five breaths. Last breath. Inhaling, walk the hands in. And then we're going to switch sides. Right leg straight. Left leg on top. Lengthen the spine. And exhale, settling into your position. Inhaling deeply. As you inhale, create space. As you exhale, allow any tension to melt away. Last breath. Lovely. Inhale, walking the hands back up. Twist and shoulder opener. 
It's up to you how you do this. You can just have the legs crossed and you can place your belt under the knee and then you can reach the opposite arm around, clasp the belt, twisting like so, or you can come into lotus or half lotus. It's absolutely fine. Find whichever feels most comfortable for you. Wherever you are, you're going to inhale and take the left hand behind you, clasping for the belt or for the left toe. Right hand to the outside of the left thigh, twisting here, lengthen the spine. Draw that left shoulder down and back. Soften the gaze. And as you inhale again, create space. A sense of openness and lightness. And as you exhale, there's some ease in the twist here. We're not forcing things. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Very gently release change your feet position and this time we're going to reach around with the right hand clasping the belt or the foot left hand to the outside of the right thigh inhale lengthen exhale twist you might have one side that's more flexible than the other my right shoulder is a lot stiffer so it's a very different experience on each side. But just be with that, you'll even out in time. Inhaling, lengthen, and exhale. Soften the face. very gently release lovely this is our last one so spread the legs comfortably wide apart don't overdo it but you want to feel a little stretch along the inside and the backs of the legs lengthen the spine Exhale, relax the face, relax the shoulders. Then we're going to flow from side to side here. So we're going to inhale, reaching over to the left. Exhaling through center. Inhale, reaching over to the right. Exhale through center. Inhale, reach. Exhale, so just flow to the rhythm of your breath. And you should feel a nice opening through the psoas at the lower back. Nice opening through the waist. You can trace the fingers across the floor if they're there. It's okay if you're all the way up here and you're just moving from side to side. You might be a little bit higher up, but you're still getting all the benefits. So just be with wherever you are. You might want to close the eyes. Just a few more. This time when you move over to the left, pause, find that resistance, stay with it and breathe. And 
Last two breaths. Well done. Inhaling, gently moving through centre. Exhaling. Five breaths. Last breath, inhale, create space. Exhale, relax, let go. Very gently. Walking the hands into centre. And now come all the way down onto your back. For Shavasana. So, legs hip distance apart, just allow the feet to fall out, palms turned up. Let's take a nice big deep inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Last one, inhale. Exhale, close the eyes, scan the body, feel the feet, feel the air on the soles of the feet, relax the feet, relax the ankles, relax the calves, the shins, the knees, soften the backs of the knees, let the thighs become heavy, feel the weight of the hips, inhale breathe into the belly, Exhale, relax the belly. Inhale, breathe into the chest. Exhale, relax the chest. Relax the shoulders. Relax the arms. Relax the fingers on the right hand. Relax the fingers on the left hand. Trace your spine all the way from your tailbone, all the way up to your neck. And relax the whole of the back. Feel the weight of the head. Relax the forehead, the eyes, the eyebrows. Let the cheeks be soft. Relax the lips and the tongue. And then inhale deeply into that space in between the eyebrows. And take a moment to congratulate yourself for taking the time to open up, to stretch, to relax, to do something that's truly good for you. I hope you've enjoyed this practice. I hope you feel lovely and have a lovely evening or day. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.